Foreign Affairs Committee on Thursday declined to vet the Somaliland ambassador nominee during the ongoing vetting process, stating that the government recognizes Somaliland as a region in Somalia. President William Ruto nominated Abdi Weli Muhammad Hussein as the ambassador for Argeisa during the government reshuffle in early October the year 2023. Hargeisa is the capital city of the self-declared Republic of Somaliland, a de facto sovereign state. However, according to the committee chairperson Nelson Coet, Kenya already has a liaison office in Somaliland. And I quote from his statement, It is within the mandate of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs to submit the names of the ambassadors designated to various embassies and missions abroad to send to Parliament the names the Foreign Affairs Committee will vet. Hargeisa, to my understanding, is that it is a liaison office and will not require this committee to vet such a person. We will only vet ambassadors of embassies and high commissions that are recognized. End of quote. Koech added that this, uh, the reasons for declining to vet the nominee were included in a letter sent by the Ministry of Foreign Affairs to Somalia's embassy. And I quote from his statement, The ministry has the honor to inform that uh, to inform that the status of Abdi Weli Muhammad Hussein is that of Consul General Kenya only acknowledges Somaliland as a regional government within the Federal Republic of Somalia. End of quote. During the vetting process, three of the four ambassador nominees were vetted on Thursday. This included Dr. Wilson Kogo uh, of Canberra and Australia, John Ronald Ikitelia, Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, and Philip Mundia Githiora, Maputo, Mozambique. So Maryland has been seeking to forge strong ties with neighboring countries including Kenya, which created a liaison office in September 2021 and deployed four officers. In contrast, Somalia, an opponent of Somaliland's quest to be recognized as an independent state, has in the past accused Kenya of meddling in its affairs. This is after Somaliland President Muse Bihi held talks with former President Uhuru Kenyatta in December 2020. Following the visit, Somalia ordered all its diplomats in Kenya to leave within seven days, while also ordering all Kenyan diplomats to quit during the same period. And I quote from his statement, Kenya continues meddling in our internal political affairs and it has ignored our previous call to stop violating our sovereignty. We therefore declare that we have cut ties with Kenya over its poor violations of Somalia's sovereignty. End of quote. Somalia's Information Minister Osman Dube stated during a televised broadcast in December 2020.